But when it comes to cardiovascular, there was a man by the name of Dr. Uh, Louis Ignaro. And Dr. Ignaro, um, uh, many, many years ago, was fascinated by explosives. He loved explosives. And uh, in fact, he blew some things up like furniture when he was a kid, and, and uh, he had a tolerant par uh, parents. And <laughs> anyway, he was fascinated by by Mr. Nobel uh, of the Nobel Prize. Nobel had 20 factories that uh, made dynamite, and that's how he made his living and made his fortune. And uh, uh, he had heart disease, and uh, the doctor was prescribing him nitroglycerin pills. And doctor, I mean uh, Nobel couldn't imagine something as volatile as nitroglycerin uh, to be in his body. So he wouldn't take it, and he died subsequently. He probably would have lived a number of years longer if he would have done it. But what fascinated Dr. Ignaro uh, was the, uh, why did nitroglycerin do what it did? Why is it used for angina? You yeah. pop a nitroglycerin pill and everything relaxes, and the pain goes away. Yeah. Well, it goes away because as soon as you take the nitroglycerin pill, the uh, arteries expand, they relax, mm. Mm. and they dilate, and that relieves the pressure. And so Ignaro was really fascinated by what is it, what mechanism is doing that to the body. So he did research for many, many years, 30 years, and for 25 of those years or 20 of those years, they, they really thought he was a fool. But what he was beginning to understand was that nitric oxide is produced by the endothelium, the lining of the artery. And when that happens, it dilates and relaxes. Well, when you dilate and relax an artery, you're allowing more blood to come through. So you increase circulation. And so he followed that through, and then the, the real challenge was, why is nitric oxide produced? What is it that produces nitric oxide? 